Here's your 41 Now update, sponsored by Kansas City Regional Association of Realtors. I'm Dia Wall. Here are your headlines this Sunday from 41 Action News. A mother wants people to lock up their guns after her 14-year-old son died in an accidental shooting this week. The boy and his brother were playing with a gun they found at the Vivian Oaks Apartments near Northeast 50th Terrace and North Oak Traffic Way. The gun went off, hitting the boy in the head and killing him. Days after Missouri lawmakers passed one of the most restrictive abortion bills in the country, thousands gathered at the J.C. Nichols Fountain on the plaza to protest the vote. While most opposed the bill, some supporters showed up as well. Governor Parson has not signed it yet, but he has indicated that he will in the coming weeks. Cars hit two separate children in two separate incidents within minutes of each other in Kansas City. A driver hit a child between five and seven years old near 40th and Wayne at 341 this afternoon. Four minutes later, a different driver hit another child near 26th and Drury. The children in both incidents are expected to be okay. George Bailey has your forecast next. Buying or selling a home usually requires numerous forms you may not be familiar with. A knowledgeable expert will help you to prepare the best deal and avoid delays or costly mistakes. Visit KCRAR.com to find a realtor near you. I'm meteorologist Gerard Bailey. As we head into the next couple of days, we are going to be continuing to see activity pick up with thunderstorms likely, and some of those could be strong and severe. The greatest threat for severe weather, luckily, is down to the south of us where it's not in our uh, area, but uh, looks like Oklahoma, western Oklahoma through the Texas Panhandle has a moderate risk for severe thunderstorms, and even that enhanced risk stretches across most of the state. Now moving up toward our area, we are in the slight risk zone, so we could be talking about, again, a few thunderstorms being strong to severe with some damaging winds or some large hail and that risk is going to carry over into the rest of our viewing area especially into Missouri as we move into Tuesday with again damaging winds the main threat here but uh, believe it or not after all we are really going to be talking about rainfall more than anything and substantial rainfall is likely as we move through especially late Monday into Tuesday so we have flash flood watches posted 7 p.m. Monday through 7 p.m. Tuesday with the ground already saturated and several inches of more rain expected we're going to be talking about potential for flash flooding. So on Powercast, it does show that we'll stay dry through most of your Monday, but once we get into the later afternoon and evening, showers and thunderstorms will start to spread across the area. And again, heavy rain likely here, especially through Monday night into Tuesday, and we'll continue to see heavy rain all the way through Tuesday. And well, several days of heavy rainfall are likely here. Uh, even after this one system goes by, we could be seeing anywhere from five to eight inches of rainfall across our area with uh, some of the higher totals. So again, we're going to be paying close attention to potential flash flooding. Remember to go to your latest news and weather updates anytime on KSHB.com. Cutting the cable cord? 41 Action News is now on Roku. Search KSHB, add our channel, and you're set. All of our newscasts stream live. No other station in Kansas City can say that. Get clear, complete coverage on 41 Action News now on Roku.